for this beautiful day for bringing all this important uh, head of the various department into our village. We are extremely happy and glad to have all of you to our midst on this joyous occasion of Takrami celebrations. Takrami is a festival which is enjoyed by the, mostly the youth and adults who would earn this for this year's celebration, they have only earned last year, and that is how the tradition has been passed on to us till today. And this festival also has got another significance uh, in the calendar of the uh, villagers because this, with this celebration, it give or it initiate the process of paddy plantation. With this, we start the process of the agriculture that is paddy cultivation. to sing a very popular song, Arabi
for this wonderful day, this beautiful day, and this occasion to once again have fellowship with the citizens of Konoma village, the citizens of this legendary village, which is known not just in Nagaland, but across the globe. Taking this opportunity, I want to thank the citizens of this village for the contributions you have made in the journey of the Naga people. This village has given its best sons and its best daughters to the Naga people in all walks of life. Be it in the aspiration of the Nagas to achieve permanent and lasting peace in an honorable manner. Be it in the journey of the Naga people post statehood. In public life, in social organizations, in the movement for Naga aspiration, all sectors of society, Konoma has given its best. Some of the most legendary figures of the Naga people, some of the most highly acclaimed personalities whom we look up to, personalities who have sacrificed their all so that we are where we are today. They have given their best, they have made the ultimate sacrifices. We are grateful to them and we remain ever grateful. Nagaland has made significant progress in the field of arts, music and performing arts. Nagaland is today known throughout the world because of our musicians, our artists and our performers. This is called pushing Naga soft power, pushing brand Nagaland, taking Nagaland towards a state of excellence. Let Nagaland be known for the right reasons, for the positive reasons. Let Nagaland be celebrated because of the talents and the achievements of our youth. This is the intention of the state government and we will tirelessly work towards that aspiration. Also, Naga society must realize that the only way forward is unity. We are a small people, I said. 16,000 square kilometers, 2 million people. How can we make progress? How can we march forward? How can we make our own footprint in the global village if we are disunited? If we are fighting for each other? If somebody is asking for a statehood somewhere? If somebody is asking for a unit territory somewhere? I feel we should strengthen the bonds of unity. We should reiterate our unification thoughts and aspirations. Only then Nagaland will move forward. Offer experiential tourism that makes memories that make people come here, make memories, make friends, create human connects. That five-star hotel, that resort is available anywhere else in the world. But we should offer something that is unique, that is special, and that cannot be compared. These strategies have to be worked by us. I must congratulate the organizers of today's program, the village community, for celebrating this festival of Thakrani. Nagaland is known as the land of festivals. 17 tribes, so many sub-tribes. Every tribe celebrating its own unique festivals at different occasions. Most of these festivals are connected to the agricultural calendar and the rice calendar. So, why do we have the policy of land of festivals? Because it promotes our culture, it highlights our heritage, and we are able to preserve our traditions for the coming generations. This is the policy of the state government. And in doing that, we promote the economy, we bring tourism to Nagaland, we generate jobs, and we elevate livelihoods. The aim of tourism in Nagaland and in a place like Konoma is that every citizen of the village, the stakeholder, the real stakeholder holders of the tourism economy should be the citizens of the village. They should benefit. For example, today we have a wonderful and fantastic experience of the Konoma walk. A tourist who pays for that walk, 
the money that the tourist pays, the top dollar that he pays, should percolate down to the citizens of the village. That old lady who is preserving the moro, the citizen who is preserving the gun, somebody who is making local food, they should all benefit from the tourism policy of the state, the tourism strategies of the state, so that livelihood improvement is there, economic growth is there. That should be the kind of tourism board. We will sit and discuss. We will see what is best for this village, and we will ensure that facilities are improved, homestays are improved. We will have capacity building exercise for the homestays. We will train your guys in internationally acclaimed institutions. Four or five of you have already gotten that training. We will add more of your guys to take under, undertake that training. And the state government is also re-looking at the calendar of activities and festivals which we are doing. I am assuring you that this Tehrani festival will be part of the official state tourism calendar so that it becomes an annual event, an annual celebration, and we will create unique experiences at Konoma under the tourism calendar of including this Tehrani festival. My friends and my honorable advisor, Mr. Kiyoshi, has already given you assurance that we will work towards trying to help your village. Our honorable advisor, education, is here. I would request Mr. Kekre to kindly interact with the village and see what are the challenges that, the challenges that the education sector is facing so that we can all help each other and elevate whatever is required. I once again thank all of you. My other chairpersons are here. They will all interact with you. They will understand your challenges and we will see what we can do to help this before I finish. Konoma is a legendary village. It is a tourist destination. In fact, many people who come to Nagaland, the first thing they want to do is they want to go to Konoma, they want to do the Konoma walk. It is also known as the Konoma Green Village. I want to suggest today that why don't we set up the Konoma Green Fund or something like that, or whatever nomenclature we call it. And this fund will enable various aspects of the industry. Conservation, tourism, achieving excellence for youngsters, so many dynamics can be funded by this fund. And people who also want to contribute, who want to help, can participate and contribute towards that fund. I request the village leadership, the community to discuss this. And if you feel it is a good idea, I give my personal commitment that I will be one of the first persons to contribute towards establishment of this Konoma Green Fund. Or whatever you want to do. Thank you once again. Thank you very much for your fantastic hospitality that you extended to me, my wife, and all the dignitaries who've come here this morning. I wish happy Tehrani to all of you, to all citizens, and to my friends in the media, to everyone across the state. May God bless all of us. Kuk Nani gave you Uya. So, Abu Mehta, together with those in power, came to partake and celebrate Tehrani with us. And though we long for it to go on and linger, depart we must to a different village and different place. But do remember Kalma to continue to guide its people. Lead our people by your good deeds and love. Ke penyo felt for no ju ha pier, peja kashabo, kitienu we, abu metha, minister go we, eja kitchabo. Nuko ke we, teni we, ni do, tegra ni ni biwe. Zobie dia ke koti ro, urana ke kri, untecha ke kri. Tito no mo, for no ju rekra, ke ko chapalo.
by him. On behalf of our <coughs> host for today, Madam Salute Yo, the village chairman and our head GP, uh, we want to thank our Sir Abu Mehta for taking the time, despite his very busy schedule, to be with us, to give us those words of inspiration and guidance. Uh, there's a very famous Tibetan saying that says, wherever you find friends, that's your country. And wherever you find love, that's your home. And sir, I hope that your time here with us today, that you have found friends, a country, home, and lots of love. And hope that this will not be the first and last, but many, many more visits to Konoma village to continue to guide us, to lead us, and most of all, to continue to inspire us uh, for this century and the years that are ahead of us. So give him another round of applause, everybody, for his time. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we want to also thank uh, his lady wife, Lucy, for accompanying him and being with us on this wonderful occasion and day. I would also like to extend uh, a hearty gratitude to all the advisors and chairmen who have come along with our uh, Sarabhu Mehta. <coughs> we also got, I want to also thank our Tourism Director, Madam Vidushe, and the Deputy Director, and her guests uh, from the UNESCO who have taken the time off to be with us today. <coughs> On behalf of the host, I also extend a heartfelt gratitude to all the people who have worked very hard to make this a success.